Generative AI is a powerful AI technology which is going to create new job roles in IT industry in 2024 and 2025. Hi, my name is Rohit and I'm founder of interu.ai and in this video we would find out various job opportunities created by Generative AI. Let's get started. Generative AI is a form of artificial intelligence technology and it can generate data in the form of text, image and videos. Now in last one year, various companies like OpenAI, then Google and Meta, they have released their own generative AI models and along with that release, they have also released their APIs. Now any company can consume those APIs and build their own intelligent applications using AI technology. Our big IT service firms like Infosys and TCS, they have also realized where the market is heading. So Infosys recently did partnership with Google Cloud because they want to create now infrastructure through which they can build their platform towpaths on which various industrial applications of AI can be built. They are planning to train 20,000 engineers in generative AI technology. Similarly, TCS is also creating partnership with AWS and they are also planning to train a lot of engineers from their company on Gen AI technology. Now, these companies are getting demand from their end customers with respect to generative AI services and that's why they are doing such a huge investment on training as well as infrastructure. Now, recently, there was a news in Times of India that there would be 3 lakh jobs created in generative AI over the next 2 years. So, this is clear indicator where industry is heading. Now, let's discuss which kind of roles would be generated in generative AI technology. So, I see that there would be 3 kind of roles which would be generated. So the first role is generative AI API user or generative AI API developer. So in this role, basically as a developer, you would be using various APIs released by these companies. And then you would use those API to integrate intelligent features in your current applications. So for example, in your current application, you want feature for sentiment detection. You can just consume the generative API and create that feature within your application. You don't need to learn machine learning or you don't need to understand machine learning completely for these roles. But definitely you would need basic understanding of machine learning and data science and good programming skills in Python or any other similar programming language through which consume through which you can consume those APIs. This is the first kind of role, generative AI developer role. In some companies, if you see now JDs, they also require the data science knowledge as well because this is still emerging field. So the roles are still getting separated. The second kind of role, I would say it as a generative AI expert role or more of a role which is specific for data science talent who has learned generative AI. So in this role, you would be training large language models on custom data set or you would be using large language model to build your data science projects. So these kind of roles would also increase in future because with the help of generative AI, now it has become really easy to build natural language processing or image or video based machine learning projects, which was very tough in the past. So this is the second kind of role which is specifically getting created for people who have good understanding of data science and machine learning and along with that they have learned generative AI as well. So this is the second role. The third kind of role getting created is generative AI business analyst or AI business analyst kind of role. So in this role you don't need a programming knowledge like Python programming or any other programming but you should have worked in the industry as a business analyst or as a program manager so that you understand how to drive the projects how to understand the demands of stakeholders and communicate with the technical team. So along with these skills, you would also need information about generative AI, the basics of generative AI and AI in general, which kind of use cases can be built using generative AI. So having that information about features, use cases would definitely help you to target this AI business analyst kind of role. So clearly these three kind of new roles are going to be created in a lot of numbers over the next two years. So if you are someone who is really trying to build your career for the next decade, you can definitely target the three roles. Thanks for watching the video and I will see you in the next one.